So score predictions. I'm going to go for a 2-1 win just to nick it. But it's going to be a nervy, nervy game. But Sunderland to win 2-1. Mystic Megs back at it again, predicting the correct score of 2 1. So, you know, fantastic win. You know, a massive three points on the board. Vital that we got that today. Um, but the review of the game. So, Tony Mowbray started with the same team that played against Preston last weekend. We thought there might have been a couple of changes. You know, there was talks during the week of um, of possibly tinkering with a back three, a back three. Would Danny back come into the team? <clears throat> you know, would Emmy a start? But he went with the same team that started against Preston with Anthony Patterson in goal, Trey Hume, Dan Ballard, Luke O'Neill, Dennis Serkin, Pierre Egoire, Dan Neil, Patrick Roberts, Jack Clark, Bradley Dack, and Joby. Um, and to be honest, the first 15, 20 minutes I thought we were poor. You could see quite clearly there was no out ball and we were struggling to make a pass forward. You know, like was like's been proved over the last, you know. All last season, really, the way to stop us from playing is to stop the space for Robertson and Clark. Um, and Roberts, especially the first 15 20 minutes, struggled for the game of the game. Um, and as we, you know, we were slow, there was no urgency, we couldn't get forward, there was no out ball. And, it, and I said just before the, the opening goal, you know, they were growing into the game, and you could see that um, a goal could be coming. You know, they were getting a little bit more confident, and sure enough, um, 20 minute mark. Down the right hand side, the ball falls to Hakim Odafin, and he, you know, he smacks it under, under Anthony Patterson, and, fr and from there, you know, I did see it on me uh, on my preview video. If we go a goal down, it could turn toxic. The good thing is for us, we equalised two minutes later. I think if it had gone on, you know, five or ten minutes later, the atmosphere could have been completely different. But two minutes later, we actually put a good move together. The ball came down the right hand side. Roberts got the ball, crossed it in, and there was Joby headed in. Keeper possibly could have done a little bit better, but he's, he's gone in the corner and it's 1 1. And you know, big relief, like I say, if, if it had gone another five or ten minutes, then we uh, it could have turned nasty. But then for me, the changing point in the game, we made a switch. Joby went up front, Bradley Dak dropped into midfield, and for me, the game changed completely. From there, we took control really. You know, Bradley Dak started getting on the ball, Joby held the ball up a lot more. Was big physical, you know, and what what would been lacking in the first 15, 20 minutes, and from there, to be fair, Rotherham didn't really cause us any issues, you know, what I can really think of. Um, but having said that, we went in at half time one one, and you're hoping that you know we're going to come out in the same vein to to take control of the game and push on for the win. Exactly what we did do. Like I said, Jovi was up front, and it, it made a massive difference. And then early in the second half. A great move started by Trey Hume on the right hand side. We'll go down the right hand side. Fast to Bradley Duck. Joby's in the middle, acres of space. Bradley Duck puts the cross. And Joby, to be fair, could have panicked. <clears throat> he could have blasted over the bar, you know, but he didn't. For a 17 year old, a, a finish as cool as you like, took his time, placed it in the right hand side, passed the goalkeeper. Absolutely fantastic. And you know, what a relief. And the atmosphere was absolutely fantastic. 2 1. Two goals for Joby, you know, it was a case of then could we go on and kill the game off? And we actually, you would say that the, the confidence in the lads was massively different. Massively, you know, we started getting the ball, we were, we were controlling the game. The, the, the tempo was upped and to, Joby could have had another couple of goals. He was unlucky not to get a hat-trick. Really, really unlucky. But, you know, the, the, the whole second half we dominated. And like I said, to be fair, Rotherham didn't cause us any issues at all. A crowd of 40,000 again, you know, massive, massive support. Uh, but it's a big win, it's a massive win, a massive three points, and it, it gets us off the mark. Now, you know, not saying it was perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but it was really, really important. We got that three points today with Coventry coming up in, in Southampton. If we lost today, then, you know, like I said in my preview video, things could have turned nasty. But we're getting the three points, um, couldn't be more happier. But we're still a long way from the finished article, you know, just because we've beat Rotherham doesn't mean to say everything's rosy in the garden, you know, we've still got to get this strike here. Now, Tony Mowbray, after the game, did say that they've had talks, that he does expect to have a strike here over the weekend, 
rumours are it's Jay Stansfield from um, Fulham. Now I'm not sure what, if if it's the, the striker we want, but I've caught it to him more, but he's the type of striker who can run in behind, can hold the ball up and score goals. Now if he can do that, we'll be we'll all be happy. But we'll have to wait and see over the weekend what happens with that player ratings. Well today Anthony Patterson didn't have a lot to do. Like I said, he had one or two shots, I think, apart from the goal. So six and a half out of ten. Now I thought the first 20 minutes, half an hour, I thought Trey Human and Dennis Certain were both miles off the pace today. You know, their two wingers were causing us all sorts of problems. Trey Hume seemed to be getting caught out of position, kept on going into midfield, leaving the space in behind, and they were trying to exploit that. But they got better as the game went on, but I'm going to give both of them six out of ten. Dan Ballard, the game was his solid self, seven out of ten. Luke O'Nine, 9 I thought had his, had his best game at the other season. He looked solid. He's, he was urgency, he was you know, he was he was all over the place. Typical captain's performance, seven out of ten for Luke O9. In midfield. I thought Dan Neil and Pierre Ekwa were really, really good. Dan Neil again having his best game of the season. I thought he was really, really good with Pierre Ekwa sitting. Pierre Ekwa was outstanding today. He broke the, he broke things up, was getting on the ball, you know, was playing the ball off, doing exactly what a what a defensive midfield player should do. But when he was getting forward and he had a chance for to take a shot on, he was doing, which is what we need. And that allowed Dan Neil to then get on the ball and, and make his passes. So I'm going to give them both seven out of ten. Ekwa Possibly a little bit more seven and a half. I thought he was outstanding today. Um, Robertson Clark, Clark again was his normal self, terrorising their their left back. But again, you know the the, the final ball sometimes let him down. I just wish he would sometimes go on the outside a bit more because when he does that, he seems to cause more problems. But having said that, he had, he had a decent game, seven out of ten. Roberts, I thought struggled for the game into the game, and then went off injured. In the second half, Tony Morbis is going to assess, assess him after the game for to say what it was at this stage. We don't know what that is. However, he did cross the ball. I think it was for um, for Bellingham's first goal. So you know, I'll give him assist. So I'm going to give Clark a six and a half, seven out of ten. Roberts a six and a half the same. Um, Bradley Dak, I thought he was outstanding today. I thought once we made the switch and Dak went just off the front man, I thought he was absolutely fantastic. He get on the ball. He was making things happen, creating chances, playing lovely little balls out wide. And he was fading off Joby. So Bradley Dag here out of 10. For me, Joby has to get man of the match. You know, it was a, he took a little bit of flat after the game last weekend, um, giving the ball away for Preston's second goal. But it just showed you it didn't get to him too much. Came out with the an absolutely fantastic performance. For a 17-year-old, some of the touches on the ball were absolutely fantastic. So for me, Joby, man of the match, I'm gonna give nine out of ten for his two goals. He could have had a hat rate, he could have had four. Um but you know, he's a man in a, in a he's a, a man in a young man's body, if you like. You know, he's he's a he's a massive influence on the game, and he's only going to get better. So, well done, Joby. Nine out of ten from me. Overall performance, like I say, first 15, 20 minutes we were, we were offered. Once we got the goal, the conference started getting um, through the lads. We then took control of the game and won the game two one. Fantastic result, fantastic performance. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Uh, you know, did you think we deserve it? Who was your man of the match? But like I say, there's a long way to go yet. Just because we've beaten other doesn't, you know, make things all rosy in the garden. If you like, there's still a lot of stuff going on off the pitch, including you know the, the spirit of '73 uh, flag display that was kiboshed before the start of the game. Apparently, this Steve Neil was a mag stopped then the spirit of '73 having the flag display before the game. But never mind. Um, also, I thought the referee was shocking today. Um, some of his decision making was absolutely terrible to tell you the truth. You know, some of the I don't know what what he thought were he just didn't know what a foul was, and then he was given stupid free kicks for nothing. You know what I mean? But never mind. We've gotten the win. We've got the three points on the board. Until the next one, you know, will there be a match? Uh, any breaking news that we hear about transfers, we'll jump on and let you know. But uh, subscribers has gone really, really well. I'm up to five hundred and twenty. I think it is now. Um, massive response from the previous few videos so thank you very much for everybody who's like and subscribe please like this one give it a share and if you're new please subscribe i think we're on i think it's 82 percent of um viewers who watch the videos are not subscribers so please just hit that subscribe button it's free doesn't cost you anything um and then you'll get notifications of, it, of the latest videos if you like what i'm doing so till the next one i will say thanks for watching um take it easy stay safe speak soon enjoy your saturdays and today it's just a job.